Bit of a roller coaster tonight? Well, for the first five minutes of the second half, you just changed the whole ball. Uh, just really poor defense. Uh, gave a lot of easy baskets there and really turned the whole game around. Um, you know, we were up 10 in the first half and uh, you know, we get down 12 in the second half there and very fortunate Julio gave us eight in a row to get us back in the game. Uh, two threes and a, and a two. So, I mean, that was a big stretch because we're down 12 with, you know, 11, 12 minutes to go. And, and um, you know, with 10 minutes to go, it's, it's four and we're back in the game. So, I thought Jaleel's stretch was really big. But, again, the first five minutes of the second half really set a bad tone. We, we were dead in the water. We weren't moving. Uh, it, was, it was a bad stretch for us. What does this win say about your team, though? Like you said, you guys fought, fought back, and you know it was a huge one for you guys. Well, it was. You know, we uh, we didn't play well defensively. I didn't think our activities the second half. Uh, you know, the first half we hold them to thirty-one uh, percent, and and we're flying around. And uh, second half they go fifty percent. You know, which is is and then the overtime they were fifty. But you know, the first half I thought our defensive effort was pretty good. We hold them to thirty, uh, and forty-one. Uh, the second half. You know, so uh, defensively, we, we didn't play nearly as well uh, second half. How did you feel belted on Williams? You know, he, he just let him catch it too deep. Um, you know, he's just got to get lower. You know, all our post men have, have got to get lower when they're playing someone that powerful. Uh, I'm not sure we'll fi play a, a guy that's 280 like that again that has that power and that touch. Uh, but we, we didn't get low enough, and he caught it too deep. And, and you let a big guy catch it that deep. And we didn't want to double him too much because they just they, they got other scorers. You know, they got four guys averaging in double figures. So, uh, I, you know, I thought he fought him pretty good. Uh, you know, the exciting thing is, you know, he's an experienced senior, and, and Jordan's an inexperienced freshman, you know. And, and I think Jordan's got a lot he can grow into. Uh, but Casey made a heck of a play there. We, we uh, they set a little pick and roll, and, and Jordan hedged it, and Casey rotated over from the weak side to get that last steal, steal when we were up two, and that, that was really a, a heads-up, instinctive play by, by Casey. Is it rare to kind of have two underclassmen like Bell and Benson, you know, you know, down the stretch, be that big, come up that big for you guys? Well, it's it's a position we're in. You know, we, we, we're going to play those freshmen, and. Uh, Dylan got in foul trouble. He started the game pretty good, got in foul trouble. Uh, Elgin had his share of foul trouble tonight, so Jordan really had to play well. Uh, Mike wasn't ready for that kind of game physically. You know, he just, uh, you could tell he just a step behind, and so he's got to get in better shape. Um, but no, I, I thought Jordan competed. Um, um, got a little optimistic about a few offensive possessions that, you know, a couple quick shots that we didn't need. And, um, but he's, he's going to grow, you know, he got three blocks and, you know, without him, we'd have been, we, we didn't have no other options, you know, so I thought he did a good job. It's the first time you've seen this group in a last possession type situation. He got it twice tonight, he's seen overtime and end of regulation both times, down three, down four, and came back to, to pull it out. We executed a few good things. Uh, we missed execution on a couple, you know. Um, I thought Jordan Bell did a really good job on the out of bounds play there to get, get Joe open. And, and give him a look. Um, so, no, I, I don't the guys handled it pretty well. They, you know, kept their composure, got a couple stops when we needed it, which was, was more important. Going back to Dylan, you were a little bit concerned with uh, kind of his attitude the last couple of games. Um, do you think you responded well? It's not attitude, it's just his, his body language. It doesn't help his teammates, you know. You gotta, it's a team game, you know. And, and, you know, he wants to do so well, and when he doesn't, you know, he gets frustrated. And, you know, all players do, but you can't let it affect your game and you can't let it affect your teammates. And, and that's what Dylan got to realize. Would you like to start to the game? Done? Oh, absolutely. You know, he was, and he's practiced well the last two games or days. I told him, I said, you know, you just practice well and you'll, you'll be back in the lineup. If you don't, you won't. You know, and he did. You know, and, uh, and he was good, you know, until he got frustrated with his fouls. You know, but uh, again, it's it's an emotional game. He's 18. There, I got no question about his passion for the game and wanting to play well, but he can't let individual movements, you know, affect the team. You know, and and that's all our guys. You know, they we, we get so caught up in wanting to do well, but it's still a team game. And 
Jaleel went through a stretch, and man, he's fought his tail. You know, he last two games, his, he, he's going to grade out really high. I mean, he, he made a lot of good plays. How surprised were you to see uh, Joseph Young miss that, 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 that final free throw? Well, I'm shocked like everybody else. Uh, you know, I uh, and then he missed another one in the overtime. So, uh, no, that, we were fortunate. We came back and won the game. Uh, you know, but I, I was surprised. I think everybody was. And, uh, um, but, you know, the way it worked out, and, you know, it's a great experience for us. Uh, I think we were undefeated in overtime games last year. And, and you know, now to start this year, you know, we're going to get in. You know, we've got to be ready to play that extra five minutes. Are some of these situations where you guys are down late and one possession games and you guys are giving up a big run, or are some of these kind of checklists that you want to check off going into later in the season saying, you know, we've done this and this high intensity? Well, it's always good to draw on some experience. Uh, we don't necessarily need to go through them right now. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of opportunities, but uh, no, I, it does give us, you know, a point where we can go back and talk about the first five minutes of the second half and not being able to do that against good teams. Uh, we can't talk about the comeback. You know, we can't talk about getting stops late, you know, and, and uh, Julio hit two big free throws, you know, we're up two and he goes and knocks down two, gets us a four point lead, which, you know, that that's huge with 12 seconds, you know, if that's a two point or three point game, that, that whole possession there is a lot different. So, uh, no, I, I think that the situation does help. And since we came out on top, you know, I, I think it will be, you know, it had been, Devastating for us, you know, with that five-minute stretch there in the second half. If that would have cost us the game, I think that would have really hurt our team. And uh, uh, but the comeback, you know, is, is good. When you guys practice next, is that going to be more the focus? Is that five minutes? Just overall defense. You know, we, we come back on the, the night of the 26th. Guys will have three full days off here: uh, 23rd, 24th, 25th. We come back the night of the 26th, and you know, we'll just get after it and really work a lot on defense and rebounding. Uh, you know, our offensive execution continues to get better, but there's a lot more there we can grow into. Uh, so it's just, you know, there's not one area we're going to focus in on. We're just going to focus in on everything because, you know, we just, we got to get better. You know, and guys, uh, guys got to make plays for each other. We had 17 turnovers tonight, which is really a high number for us. And, and so a lot of things to work on. Talk about some of these mishaps, but do you still feel like you took a little bit of a step forward on the defensive end? You see some well, you know, coming back like that and getting some hands on some balls, uh, you know, uh, getting a few steals there late, uh, Jordan blocked some shots. Yeah, we, you know, we, we took a step in the right direction by coming back and winning. It's a learning experience, but uh, there's no doubt that uh, this team's got a lot more. You know, this, this team could grow a lot more if, if they would put demands on themselves and each other. Uh, they're nowhere near where they can get to. You know, and, and our challenge as coaches is try to push them to get there. Uh, right now, some don't like to be pushed, but we got to. You know, we, we, uh, the first part of our season will be over next month. You know, and the sec second part starts with 18 tough conference games. And so, you know, we just got to get better. With a, with a guy like Chandler Houston, is still trying to get into game shape. Just kind of having these three, four days off, is that kind of unfortunate timing, or will he be? Kind of running we're on gonna try to push him. We're gonna try to find him. You know, maybe give him one day off, and then try to push him through. You know, one day, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, get him going a little bit. Because uh, he, you know, you could see tonight, you know, how far out of condition he is, and you know, just the, the pace of the game and how low he had to get. He just wasn't ready for that. Uh, he will be. You know, I, I, I said, you know, the last time he was two, three weeks away, and and you could really tell tonight. 